All right, guys, so I wanted to show you guys the Torbonite, the Katanga uh, piece, the Katanga Torbonite piece. This one is the gem. This one is absolutely beautiful. I say that about all of them because they're all my beauties. But this one really is absolutely gorgeous. It's still crystalline. Um, it's not really... The light is not doing it. This camera sucks. You can kind of see the crystals glinting, but not as well as I can. I mean, this thing is so sparkly right now. I wish you guys could see this as well as I do. And there's a little bit of uh, bitroidal, small bitroidal, like mouse eye. See it right there? Little tiny spheres at the top over here by my thumb small amount but this thing is spectacular spectacular it's really beautiful really sparkly and I love those bladed uh, atypical mica looking uh, autonite class crystals you know the typical uh, calcium uranial uh, compounds this would be autonite if it didn't have uh, copper in there I think that's the only difference between the uh, night and torbonite is, the, is the, the copper this has a lot of copper in it and that's how you can tell real torbonite from uh, autonite is that because there's some real green autonites as you'll see uh, when I put some when I put others in uh, when I do videos on the other autonites the other uranium minerals the autonites glow amazingly under black light and the torbonites do not because the copper I guess the copper uh, uh, poisons the uh, glowing effect of the uranium I don't ask me how but apparently it does so there you go now you can see some of that uh, sparkling I know the YouTube uh, video compression is going to screw this up and you probably won't see this as beautiful as I do. I noticed that with the uh, with the pitch blend. And there's another pitch blend too I'm going to show you. Maybe after this one. <clears throat> it's a, <clears throat> a little bit smaller than the other specimen. But uh, just as hot. The vein is more exposed than the last one that I showed you guys. But... Man, this thing is beautiful. So, uh, let's uh, let's see how warm it is. Everybody wants to hear the click of the Geiger counter. Let me just zoom in on this if I can. So you guys can see that crystalline structure better, a little better. Oops. Okay, lose. Where the hell is it? There it is. <clears throat> let's see if I can bring that in a little better. There you go. Look at that. Sorry about that, guys. So there you go. Now you can see it a little bit better. You can see those uh, sparkles now. <clears throat> Excuse me. But a lot of these crystals are still see-through, which means they're still hydrated. Look at that. Oh, God, I love that. It's so beautiful. Just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. There's even a couple of little nooks on the back. I know eventually this thing is going to start to dehydrate and the radiation itself is going to wind up destroying the crystals. But for, for now, I want to try to keep this as pretty as I possibly can. So I keep it in the bag with the distilled water and hopefully it'll keep the crystals hydrated. So we'll see how long it goes. I have an autonite from uh, the Daybreak mine. <clears throat> and the crystals are already really uh, dehydrated. It's, it's gone full yet full on yellow, bright, bright yellow. And the crystals are uh, going to fall apart. So I'm going to take that one out of the bag just because I don't want a you know, contamination hazard. 
these crystals to here. I never open these up inside because I don't want to, I don't want any of the, you know, minerals, if they are loose, could fall off and then contaminate the inside of my house. <laughs> so I store these all in a separate building from my home, from where we all sleep. But also for obvious reasons. So let's show you guys what the uh, Geiger counter says. grabbed a different one this is the USB because I think there's something wrong with the uh, other Geiger counter it, it was way reading way lower than, uh, than it should have counts per minute because uh, a dose rate doing this in like uh, micro receivers would not be uh, right because that that would, the, when they when they have this uh, in micro receivers for measuring dose it's based on cesium-137 and obviously that's not a piece of cesium-137 so it wouldn't correspond correctly you know the energies are completely different coming off of this than would be uh, a hunk of cesium-137 that large obviously but anyway so Let's see how uh, how warm this piece is. Uh, probably gonna I'm at probably a good inch away, inch and a half away. And we're at Ooh. one four three. Let's see how close we can get. as close as I dare get. 230 counts per minute. Now, from the side of it, it's totally different. It's only coming from the crystals in the front. Watch. Well, I mean, there's obviously going to be radiation coming from the sides of it, too, but the majority of it is coming from the front. See that? Only 3,000. 4,000 counts per minute. From the side. Whereas in the front of it, total different story. Dare to get to it. I'm going to shut that off because it's actually extremely annoying. So, <clears throat> again, this is the uh, uh, torbonite, some metatorbonite, but there's still some actual torbonite in there. As you can see, the lime green or candy apple green crystals in there. Some of them are still see through. You can look that one there. You can see it. They're square, beautiful square. I wouldn't doubt if there was some uh, cupro in there. Probably not lime green enough. But I do see some needle shapes in there. Which is indicative of the uh, cupro sclerosite. I do have some uh, needles from a, a cupro sclerosite uh, specimen. Look at that. Tiny mouse eye. Blisters. Pitch blown. Yeah, this is from uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo, the DRC, from uh, the Katanga mine, which was a pretty famous mine. Um, there was uh, a mine uh, in that region that actually had a, uh, a naturally functioning nuclear reactor. You'll have to look it up. Naturally occurring nuclear reactor. Google that and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's pretty wild. But um, this came from that, uh, that famous mine, the Katanga mine. I, I guess uh, the United States got a lot of its uranium from, uh, from this mine. Well, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate uh, everybody, all the new subscribers. Welcome to the family, to those who have just subscribed. Um, I, hope, uh, I hope you guys like this new content.